Hi guys, this is Hannah from the Instagram My Skincare Regime, where I post all things skincare and beauty. I also have a blog where I write in-depth reviews on products I've tried. In this video, I'll be showing you PR I was sent by Pixie Beauty. It's their Milky Skin Collection. The star ingredient in every product is the coconut fruit extract, which is supposed to help nourish and moisturize the skin. Disclaimer, all products contain either fragrance or essential oils, so be forewarned before progressing. You can purchase Pixie products on their website. The link will be down below. The PR came in a sort of milk carton-like set, where each product was numbered in order of a skincare routine. I received six items, excluding the hydrating milky mist. This collection focuses on maintaining the skin's moisture levels. The common ingredient is coconut, coconut extract, or coconut oil, which is supposed to moisturize and nourish the skin. Some of these products also contain probiotics and oat, which are to soothe, protect, and balance the skin. So first is the Hydrating Milky Makeup Remover. So this came in what looks like a milk carton. It's supposed to remove your most long-wearing eye, lip, and face makeup without stripping your skin of its essential moisture. Now this contains coconut, probiotics, and oat extract to help moisturize and nourish the skin while removing your makeup effectively. I really like this type of pump packaging. It's the one where you can place a cotton pad on top and just pump and fully saturate a cotton pad. To me, this product smells a bit like lipstick. I'd also like to show you that this product comes in two phases, so you need to shake the bottle before you pump. Do you see the oil droplets mixing? This also contains willow bark to gently tone the skin. As you can see, the pump is very effective in fully saturating a cotton pad. I only needed about two pumps. I like the packaging because it's hygienic and I can travel with it. Now swiping my hand here, you can see that there's some shine and the product doesn't immediately disappear from my hand. I didn't find this stripping at all, so I think dry and oily skins would appreciate this. Stay tuned for a makeup removal test at the end to see how effective this is at removing waterproof makeup. The next product is the Hydrating Milky Cleanser. This is a creamy daily face wash that is enriched with moisturizing coconut extract, willow bark extract, and skin perfecting probiotics designed to give you your best skin yet. This does also contain jojoba to rehydrate the skin and nourish it. I like the addition of probiotics as there's promising science on probiotics and skincare. As you can see, it's a very large tube, so I think this would last quite a while. This is supposed to calm down irritated skin and also contains cinnamon extract, which is anti-inflammatory. I like that the products come with a hygiene tab. It does smell very much like coconut. This very much is like a heavyweight cream. It's not very sticky, but it does rub in well and fine. This does also foam up on the skin, if water is added. As you can see, you also don't need a lot to get this product into a rich lather. When washing this product off, my hand didn't feel too stripped or dry. I don't know the pH of this, but I'm hoping it's not too alkaline. Somewhere around 5.5 would be nice. From reviews I've seen, however, those with sensitive skins have enjoyed it and not found it too stripping. Now technically this isn't a makeup remover and probably should be used as a second cleanser, but if you stay tuned, I will show you a swatch of trying to remove makeup with this product. Next up is the Hydrating Milk Peel. This is a moisturizing cellulose-based peel that gently exfoliates the skin. This is also supposed to exfoliate and minimize the look of pores. You're supposed to cleanse the skin and then apply this peel and then leave it on for two to three minutes before massaging and then washing the product off. This is apparently good for dry and sensitive skins. It also contains coconut and probiotics to help nourish the skin. The cellulose in this apparently provides some exfoliation. 
It also contains willow bark extract and cinnamon extract to soothe skin. Initially, I thought this was a dupe for the Huda Wishful Skin Enzyme Scrub, which is also cellulose based, but this doesn't seem to ball up like the Wishful Scrub does, and you leave it on for a specified amount of time. Perhaps this peel is better for drier and even more sensitive skins, but both do contain fragrance. This is supposed to help clear away dead skin cells using the cellulose to micropeel. This also contains arginine to provide antioxidant benefits apparently and help stimulate collagen production. As you can see, this product comes out like a gel. It smells like coconut. This doesn't ball up on the skin. It remains a gel lathered onto the skin. I think those who want to glow up their skins would enjoy this. Perhaps sensitive skins who can't handle highly acidic exfoliators or physical scrubs. I didn't experience any itching or irritation, and after washing off this product, my skin didn't feel dry or stripped of any oil. Next up is the Milky Tonic. I've tried many other Pixie Tonics, and they have usually been my favourite from the collection, so I'm guessing it's going to be the same for this. This is a calming and hydrating milk enriched tonic. This contains jojoba milk to rehydrate and nourish the skin. This also contains oat extract to soothe and hydrate the skin, as well as green tea to provide certain antioxidant capabilities. You can see that the liquid looks like milk. This can be used AM and PM as well. It does not contain alcohol and should nourish the skin. I like the addition of oat, and I like that it's aimed at hydration and calming down and soothing the skin. It's not focused on stripping the skin or being exfoliating, so I think sensitive and dehydrated skins would appreciate this. As you can see, applying, it's very liquidy, it's like water, but the liquid is a milky colour. Personally, I would apply this with a cotton pad and swipe my face after cleansing to remove any excess dirt left on my skin. This doesn't instantly dry down, so it does provide a nice layer of hydration to the skin. Next up is the Hydrating Milky Serum. Now this is supposed to hydrate the skin and boost elasticity. I'm not a huge fan of rosehip oil, but I do like aloe vera for calming down the skin. I also like that the dropper comes in two parts, so you can choose to use it or not. I would screw on my Niod pump to this. This also contains vitamin C and E to nourish the skin, and jojoba oil to moisturise the skin. It's supposed to be applied before moisturiser. It's aimed at dehydrated skins and contains rose flower extract, as well as glycerin to trap moisture into the skin. As you can see, this looks like milk. It does have a bit of an oil slick to it, but it's not sticky. I'm not too sure if oily skins would like this, but certainly dry skins would. It rubs really nicely, it does definitely moisturise the skin. This product is supposed to feel lightweight and also hydrate the skin, which I think it accomplishes. Next up is the Hydrating Milky Lotion. My sister actually used this on her dry, scaly hands. Her previous moisturiser wasn't working for her, and in two days she fell in love with this. It's completely changed the condition of her hands. They look really well nourished and no longer rough. So this absolutely does work on dry, scaly skin, I think. This contains shea butter, coconut oil extract, as well as black oat extract. This also contains almond oil, which all helps to moisturise and nourish the skin. Now for the swatch. Initially, I thought this was going to be a very thick and heavy cream, but putting it on my hand, as you can see, it doesn't look that heavy. I thought because of the addition of shea butter, it would look like a paste. This does smell of coconut, by the way. Once again, this doesn't look too sticky or heavy, and this spreads really nicely. I mean, look at that shine. You're of course supposed to apply this at the end of your routine. You can apply this in the AM or PM. This also contains coconut seed extract, which is supposed to nourish the skin. 
I like that you can apply this both on the face and on the body. This genuinely is a really nice feeling cream. I think both oily and dry skins would really appreciate this. My hand felt very soft and moisturised. Now I wanted to test if both the cleanser and the cleansing water could remove makeup. I should state that the cleanser is not a makeup removing cleanser, but I wanted to try this anyways. So here are waterproof eyeliners and lipsticks. As you can see, it's not really breaking down the products. After washing my hand, you can see that the lip liner and eyeliner is left. So I decided to do a second cleanse to see if this would finally remove all the makeup from my hand. By the way, my hand didn't feel dry even after cleansing twice. As you can see, there is still leftover makeup, the lip liner and the eyeliner. So then I decided to try the Hydrating Milky Makeup Remover. I shook it first to mix up the ingredients. Just a few pumps, make sure it's saturated. And all I did was swipe along my hand. And you can see that it is removing the makeup just fine. So I would say in terms of makeup removal and cleansing, use the Milky Makeup Remover to initially remove any waterproof, stubborn makeup, and then go in with the Hydrating Cleanser. And if needed, go in with the second cleanse with the hydrating cleanser. And that should be enough. And that's it for the video. Comment down below which product is your favourite. If you check out my blog, I will have a K-Beauty alternative for each item in this collection. The link will be down below. I've reviewed other Pixi products. If you'd like to see my in-depth reviews of the retinol tonic or the vitamin C tonic, please go to my blog. The link will be down below. Thanks for watching. Bye!